Which stock absolutely tanked today. Let's figure out why this happened, what I think could be happening in the future for Wish, and how we're going to recover from this. Make sure to watch this whole video so you don't miss any of my Wish stock analysis. And if you guys would, please like the video and comment. It helps out the YouTube algorithm a lot. If you guys want to pick up a free stock with public chat, our link down in the description below. When you guys sign up with our link, not only do you support the channel, but you can also get a free stock of a great selection of companies. And you can also be part of an amazing social investing network. And you can follow us and keep up to date with what we're buying, what we're selling, and our current thoughts on the overall market. But other than that, guys, let's get right into this video. Alrighty guys, we're gonna be starting this video off with a little bit more of a somber note here on Wish Stock or ticker symbol W-I-S-H, context logic, whatever you guys want to call it. We're currently sitting at about $9.41 a share, down just about 43 cents it looks like here on this graph, and down about 4.37% on the day. Uh, now if we look a little bit wider here, if we go to the one week, you can see more of this drop off here illustrated a little bit better. Actually, let's go to trading view just so you guys can see. This is the drop off that we are looking at. Sorry about the ads. This is the drop off that we looked at in after hours after earnings were reported. Significantly falling, unfortunately, uh, down here, heavy to the downside, about $7 a share now. It's obviously showing as $9 here in public, but obviously that is not showing after hours. Now, why did this happen? What is going on with Wish? Uh, a lot of people are probably really nervous right now because I know there's a lot of people who are buying and who have bought at these higher levels at the kind of eight to seven dollar range. There's a lot of people who are expecting Wish to finally get on a good upward trend now, especially leading up to earnings, and they all thought that earnings would be relatively good. Well, I think this article kind of highlights very nicely what we're looking at here and where the problems and kind of some of the pain points I think that we're looking at majorly here on Wish stock and overall just kind of outlines what we saw in Q2 earnings today. So let's talk about it. Wish plummets on Q2 earnings, here's why traders are saying yikes. Popular retail investor stock Context Logic Inc. saw shares drop on its second quarter financial results. What happened? Context Logic reports second quarter revenue of 656 million, down just about 6% year over year. The revenue total missed a street estimate of about 723 million. So obviously not great to start off. The company's core marketplace segment saw sales fall 32% year over year to 378 million. The company reported a net loss of 111 million in the second quarter versus a net loss of 11 million just about a year ago. The company's net loss stands at 239 million in the first six months of the fiscal year versus a loss of 77 million in the comparable period last year. And if we scroll down here, we can see a little bit more details here. CEO Pior, I'm not even gonna bother to pronounce that, I'm sorry, I don't wanna butcher it, said, second quarter results did not meet company expectations. He said, improving the performance of the app will drive new user growth, retention, and profitability going forward. Overall, we expect user retention to improve now that we have more reliable logistics, but instead retention declined. The company said its shareholders letter globally, we saw a 13% reduction in app installs and a 15% reduction in average time spent on our platform in Q2, with shares are down just about 18% to $7.69 an after hours trading. So what does this mean? Because obviously this uh, news is not the best for Wish and there is a reason why the chart currently looks like this. Uh, well, here's my thoughts on it, right? So, Wish for the most part, uh, I've always looked at it as a long-term growth play. This is a stock that I've always seen as something that I think has a lot of potential uh, by the end of this year, if not next year. And I think fundamentally, this company is not too bad. But again, it's gonna take some time for it to rebound here, especially after this bad earnings report that we're seeing down just about, oh God, 18% on the chart. Uh, and, and, and the worst part of it all too is, is that there is not even one redeeming uh, piece of news here, unfortunately, about earnings. There's not really one piece of positive news. Everything in almost in all major categories has fallen significantly. Does this mean I still like this stock? Does this mean I dislike this stock? I don't like, or it's not that I don't like the stock anymore, it's just that I'm disappointed with these results. But I still like Wish and Context Logic as a company uh, long term. Again, companies like this are going to have bad earnings reports, they're going to have these kind of rough waters that they're going to have to start out with. Again, Wish has only been around for a year or two now, a little bit more than that, and they've only gone public very recently. 
So again, it's not surprising at all that by Wall Street expectations, there's going to be some hiccups and there's going to be some hurdles that they have to jump over before they can continue their growth and expansion. Uh, and now a lot of you are probably wondering, well, what's gonna happen now? Is Wish just gonna grind lower all this week? Uh, is this going to set up the momentum for the rest of the days? Uh, and, and really, I mean, technical analysis allows us to, to look into that and kind of see a little bit beyond uh, where we're at currently and hopefully maybe make a prediction. But again, it's very hard to say at this point. I would love to say that, oh, Wish is just gonna rebound tomorrow and everything's gonna be all good. Uh, there is a lot of retail sentiment for this stock uh, positively. You know, there's a positive retail sentiment, but again, whether or not that kind of comes through uh, and shines as a green day tomorrow for at least on Friday, tomorrow is, today's Thursday, Friday, of course, will be the intraday trading session for tomorrow. Uh, and this video will be going up that day. So who knows what the actual price will actually be. You guys will be able to know before me, obviously. Uh, but again, I, it's, it's hard to tell. That's why let's, let's do some technical analysis here. Let's hop into trading view real quick here. Uh, and just take a look and see what we're looking at as far as the overall price action and where we're sitting at goes. So obviously major drop off here on after hours all the way down to a low at one point of about $7 or $7 and 35 cents rebounding here a little bit to $7 and 58 cents. If we pull out on the one month, we could even go to the three month chart. This is the lowest wish has dropped. Uh, pretty much we are almost back or pretty much are back at the lows that we saw before the short squeeze before the or well It's not really a short squeeze, but the squeeze action kind of that we saw not too long ago We're back to these levels. So that does give me some Anxiety, you know, it does give me some some worry about what this stock is doing because it, it, everything that I looked at from a technical aspect uh, showed me that this stock was comfortably trading at these higher levels. We did see a significant pullback from this high of fourteen dollars here. Likely, a lot of people taking profits, of course, who bought at these higher levels, just trying to get a somewhat of a better average and get out while they still could. And then, of course, it tanked significantly since then. And now we are severely, severely tanking. Uh, but here's the thing, okay, here's the thing. If we look at the RSI, every time the RSI has dipped significantly, especially below the 30 level, which of course signifies a stock being usually oversold, doesn't always have to be that way, but usually a stock is oversold. If you look back here, we saw a significant drop off in price all the way down to the seven, or sorry, the $8 level. And this is where the RSI was at. RSI was at 15. All of a sudden the next day, boom, huge, huge recover rebound. Uh, into the higher, you know, higher prices here. And, and again, if you look back historically on the RSI, every time that's happened, almost every time, not every time, but again, most of the time, especially when the RSI significantly goes below, uh, you can see it bounce back pretty heavily the next trading day. Uh, now, this is the lowest, at least on the one month, we could even go to the six month chart. This is the lowest or almost the lowest the RSI has ever been. This is like, the, it, it's just crazy how low the RSI is right now. So if I was going to plan a long-term entry and I wanted to get in at a good cost average and a good cost basis, I'm looking for cheap prices. And to me, these prices are very, very cheap according to the RSI. This is not financial advice. I obviously am just giving my own opinion and saying how I personally would trade this stock this is not a recommendation for you guys to do anything. Again, these videos are for entertainment and educational purposes only. Uh, but overall, this is where Wish is sitting at right here. RSI is super low. Uh, MACD, the blue line is still well below the, the, uh, the red line. So again, there's not really any confirmation that we're going to kind of uh, rebound back up yet. But again, that could change as after hours continues and pre-market, of course, tomorrow. We're gonna have to just watch this very carefully. I mean, Wish is such a strange stock. It is not traded uh, traditionally how anybody expected it to, especially after today. But again, in the grand scheme of things, if you have a lot of conviction in the stock, you're more than likely going to be willing to be patient for it. You're gonna be waiting, you're gonna be hoping, and you're of course gonna be aware and watching our videos because we post information about Wish and a bunch of other stocks pretty much every single day. We do it four times a day. Uh, and we love to bring you guys information to make sure you guys are aware of what's going on. But other than that, guys, we're gonna be watching Wish very closely, and that's pretty much it for Wish. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video like this. If you guys want a free stock with public, check out our link down in the description below. When you guys sign up for public, not only do you obviously support our channel, you also can get a free stock, and of course, you get to be part of an amazing social investing network where you guys can buy and sell different stocks 
starting at $1. It's a really, really great deal and we love public app and we love using it. And of course, they're great supporters of our channel and just overall, we really like what they're doing in the investing space. But other than that, guys, that is all I have for you guys today. I'm Kyle with Finance Bro. Take it easy.